Hi guys, Mixmaster G here again and welcome to this quick tutorial about how to convert a CDG USB stick to something the Denim Prime ecosystem can use. I'll do this conversion in a temporary Mac OS account. There is a separate video in my channel to show you how you create such an account and why it's important to do so. You can do it in your regular Mac OS account, but I don't recommend it because things can get confusing pretty quick. And before we start, let me empty the collections both for Recordbox and Engine Prime. And I can do this because I'm on the temporary account. And as you can see, the collection is entirely empty in Recordbox. And this is the USB stick I'm going to work on. There are just a collection of some folders and playlists on it. There is even a duplicate playlist on it, as you can see right there. The next step you do is you are going to import the content of this USB by right clicking on playlists and then selecting import folder. The next step is the very important one because there will be uh, a dialog and you click on the do not copy. Yes, that's right, the do not copy button. There is uh, a bug in Recordbox I have to warn you about and most of the times this will not take the cues and the loops from the stick over into the collection. And that is something we don't want. So let me show that over to you. Here we are. This is what has been imported. And if you click it, you see there are no cues and loops there. Nothing there. Don't worry. Just delete this playlist or this folder right there by deleting the folder. Go back to the stick. Right click playlists. Import folder. And this time you get a different dialog. You check the checkbox apply to all. That's the one and then update collection. And this time when Recordbox is finished, it will import the cues and loops from the tracks for us. As you can see right here, cues and loops all there. Next is exporting the collection. I always like to put the exported collection on the stick, but you can basically place it anywhere you like, as long as you know where you left it, because DQ needs to be loading this particular track. I can quit Recordbox because we are through here and time to start up the Denon conversion utility. I instruct the Denon conversion utility to use the XML we just produced and that's the one in the Recordbox XML. I'll check the uh, create playlists. All other settings are fine for this conversion. The defaults are fine to use. Here is the overview of all the playlists on the stick. I select the upper level folder, which means that all folders and playlists underneath will be selected. It's the same as pressing command A to select all underlying playlists and folders. Next is the robot voice step. And that's the last part where manual intervention is required. Read very carefully what this step includes. It means that we start up Engine Prime or Engine Prime is automatically started up by the Denon Conversion Utility. And I'll select all the tracks in the crate named Analyze These Tracks first. This is the one. And selecting all the tracks means pressing the command key and then the A button to select them all indeed. Then from the pull down menu, and that's the right click mouse, I do re-import track information first, which goes fairly quick. And after that, I'll select the analyze these tracks or analyze tracks from the same pull down menu like that. And from this moment on, I can walk away because the Denon conversion utility is on autopilot. And let me show you the final results in Engine Prime. Remember that uh, the disk Engine Prime uses to store the collection is the same disk you can plug into the SC5000. So this is exactly how it will look if I use this stick on the SC5000, which I will also do in a moment. First of all, all folders and playlists are converted to nested crates, as you can see. And if I load a track inside, you will see that all the cues have a unique identifiable color, so you can easily see them on the pads of the SC5000. Furthermore, I checked the option to create playlists as well, because the crates is well something confusing for some of us. 
So here are the playlists converted. There are the crates that have been created out of the playlists, which maintain their nesting structure, which is, I think, the far superior way to go. Furthermore, take a look at the keys and the BPMs. You see they reflect exactly the command field. That is because the beat grid, the queues and the loops are taken from the record box XML instead of the analyzed values from engine prime. Let me compare this to the record box uh, stuff. And that's this is how the stick looks in record box. And let me find that exact same track so you can see what it is looking like over here. There we are. And you can see just blue colors here instead of colored colors. But for the rest, everything remained the same. Now for the final showing, let me move over to the SC5000 with this stick and show you what it will look like on the SC5000 player. Once that the player press no when the player asks to import the CDG information, otherwise it will be overwritten. And let me find that track. You'll see it loads immediately and it is immediately ready to use. There is no delay. It's already been analyzed. Look at my pet colors. These are the same colors the queue got on Engine Prime, as you could see. And that makes them easily identifiable. That's all there is to, to it, folks. Mixmaster G signing off.